one Sir Edward Boone provided an update earlier this week about some of the things we can expect in the next patch to be released along with Takeda later this month. In that update, he lists some of the characters and cameos they singled out for buffs, which includes Sector. The good news for Melina players is that he already has really good synergy with her, so any buff can only make them stronger, assuming the changes don't affect any of the current utility. There's an old video on this channel discussing Melina and Sector, but it's dated and mostly covers armor breaking setups that aren't really relevant anymore and aren't really the best use of cameo resources in my opinion. So let's revisit this team before the patch to see what Sector already gives Melina. A lot of this has already been discussed in Hourglass of Rain's Melina guide, which is the first place I heard about some of this tech, the mix-up in particular, so please go check that out. I consider Melina's sector my main team, and in my opinion, the biggest selling point is that he enables a very annoying overhead low throw mix-up that can vortex, provided the resources are available. You can set this up relatively effortlessly by timing a missile between the two hits of forward four. Meaty with a standing one, then either continue the string into Psy, canceling after the second hit, or immediately cancel into low Psy. The missile follows the mix-up, extending the combo on hit after a quick forward dash, or, if not already inferred, the missile will also cover the negative frames if the Psy is blocked. Incorporating throw as an additional layer to this mix-up requires the far version of the missile, which means that you're a little bit more committed. Sector is still unavailable, so Melina shoves the opponent, who can't recover before the missile connects, allowing for a combo extension. A heavily scaled combo, but a combo nonetheless. When the opponent is cornered, they obviously can't move any further backwards, so you can use the same missile for all three mix-up options. And don't just limit yourself to forward four. One of the things I really like about this team is that after some time, you can kind of improvise and the pieces fall together with a very cool and intuitive flow. Armor will obviously beat this setup, so make those reads or even bait it. Delayed Wake Up will beat the mix up, but the missile is still in play and they have to hold it. So, in a nutshell, that's essentially the mix up. Before I wrap up, I want to mention a couple other ways I like to use Sector outside of Missile. The Flamethrower is a decent restand, especially in the corner, but the real synergy with Melina is that it covers the flawless block gap in her 1 2 string really well. Beyond that, if they're punished for the flawless block gap as a 7 frame move, it'll trade with the first hit of Flamethrower. Melina recovers from the trade first, and allowing for a full combo. Its cooldown is also much faster than Missile, so if you have full cameo meter, spend half of the meter for Flamethrower, get a trade combo that ends in a Missile for the mix-up, Sector will recharge in time for a second mix-up, assuming the first mix-up hit them, effectively giving you three cameo uses in one sequence. As you can see here, that's almost an entire health bar against a 1000 health opponent, and would have been overkill had I spent a second bar of meter. Teleport has decent damage for a hit confirm since its gravity allows for a standing 4 into 1-2 before the ball roll, but I'll typically only use this to close out a round when I'm not conserving resources for missile. It follows the same combo rules as up teleport, so no cancelling from forward 3-4 and things like that. And another couple quick notes about the missile when used outside of the mix-up. It's already a great tool for controlling neutral, which is what makes the prospect of buffing it somewhat dangerous. Use it to lock down your opponent's movement or force movement should they choose to try to avoid the missile. Just as the missile leaves the top of Melina's side of the screen, she can down teleport to close distance safely since the missile hits afterward. If the teleport hits, the missile also hits and allows for further combo extension. Catching someone with an EX low psi while a missile is in play will net you a little chunk of damage, a little more than a throw would, by popping the opponent up into the missile. One thing I like to do is sometimes end a combo with an EX ball roll. This is a 38 hit advantage knockdown closing in on safe jump territory, but not quite. Timing a missile with the second to last hit, just as she hits with both blades under the chin, maybe even slightly, slightly before that then immediately jumping forward into a jump normal is an armor breaking setup giving a combo and hit or gelling block string if blocked. Shadow Kick used to beat this setup, but the recent nerf to its startup frames makes this usable against even Johnny now. Other problem armored reversals like Shao or Baraka also lose to this really consistently. And of course, Ashra is a little bit of an exception. One last piece of hourglass tech that I didn't mention earlier would be doing an up missile between standing one staggers, then you do the forward shove into the missile for a combo. And that's all I really wanted to cover. 
I know I haven't really done anything with the channel in a while, and I'm not sure that's going to change, but Imminent Bus for Sector, who's on my main team, is an interesting prospect because of the synergy that he already has with Melina. And one final, final note, if you're not already aware, Shujinki Dink and I have been doing a weekly podcast over on his channel discussing all NRS-related things. So if that sounds like something that you'd be interested in, then please go check that out. I'll have a link down in the description. Thanks for watching.